RMO stock, Romeo Power Inc. It closed the session of the 16th of November 2021 at $5.23, a gain of 18.06%. 27 million shares crossed the tape during that session. And what do we have here? The earnings outcomes for the third quarter of this year, 2021, beat uh, um, street estimates. You know, So uh, what was expected was $0.11 loss per share, but what was reported was 0 0.13. No, sorry. What was reported was zero point one three dollars per share loss, loss of zero point one three dollars per share. Last year was zero point one one dollars, but the market was expecting a loss of zero point two three. So that was that was a bit. That was a bit. So revenue for the quarter was five point eight million dollars, up six hundred six hundred seventy five thousand dollars a year earlier. The consensus estimate was four point four million dollars for the energy technology company for commercial vehicle applications. So. That was a beat for the stock. So what do we have here? You can see that um, on this uh, one, this daily model, the stock the underlying trend has been in, in effect for a long time, a very long time. I mean, I would say since sometime in February, as a matter of fact. Yeah, February at least, okay? To say the least, at least maybe, let's just say maybe sometime in April or thereabout, you know? The, the underlying trend has been bearish since that time, you know? So before we continue with this daily model, let's just have a look quickly at this. This is what happened yesterday, the 16th. So this, it spiked sometime early in this session and moved sideways, just maintained, just maintained and sustained the bullish trend for that session, you know, maintained it there, you know. So accumulation increased, you know, even though just at where the market closed, there was some sell-off, you know, became bearish and went to move was completely lost. But you know, completely yes. It was also losing some strength as well, you know. But um, accumulation was still sustained, so it was still sustained, even though there's a lack of momentum. But accumulation was still sustained. We can see that it's still it's still uh, pointed upwards. This accumulation distribution um, indicator. That's what it's indicating. Yes, yes, still pointed upwards, even though that we had lost some strength and some momentum. And the stock itself was it? Yes, it had. The stock itself was also lose it was indeed uh, bearish you know at least in the later latter uh, minutes of this session but the accumulation was still there was still in effect so that's that's what uh, played out in uh, in the dying minutes of that session so but what, what we have yes what we we have noticed is that um yes that uh, the bearish uh, trend continued we saw a reversal you know okay what i say a further decline it occurred from the from the 13th of august and sometime it at some point it reached this might be one of its 52 week lows sometime in 19th of of uh, august as well but since that time the trend the, the downward trend has been maintained you know it wasn't getting worse what other what we are actually seeing is from today a spike you know this is uh the highest has gone the highest has been since um august probably you know since this is okay so at least sometime in mid-august this is the highest the stock has been you know and now be above all of its moving averages apart from the 200 day moving average based on the daily chart so uh would i just are things improving based on that well caution is still very much warranted caution is still very very much warranted you know here we can see yes at that um okay let's see how this let's see how this uh panned out here let's see let's see this is the momentum so even even with um even even with this trend maintenance even as way, way back as october the stock at various times ma managed to maintain some some momentum you can see that even with the trend maintenance mode it was in the stock still managed to adjust at, at various times yes dipped into over over so territory on its momentum but momentum was still very much sustained so maybe market participants all along were just gradually picking up um stocks the buyers were gradually picking up stocks yes you can see that even the strength never really departed completely you can see that only from that period only you can see that from that period uh, sometime in august it was pretty but the strength never really got oversold you can see that never really got over so this is the daily chart and then the accumulation distribution not looking so strong at the moment but at least it was also it wasn't also 
a case of a sellout as well. It was still pretty much maintained. We're not seeing this. We 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 as a matter of fact, we can actually see that it just looked like it is sloping upwards. You can see that that's the trend. It was an upward uh, looking one. So this probably started when let's see when it started. This started all the way back in uh, exactly October, late October. So there was some. There was a minor push. There was a minor push up. Even, even the RSI is also indicating that as well. It's also indicating that as well. So yes, there was a gradual, you know, bias. Just you know, as things were quiet, they they started to pick up the stock gradually and quietly. You know, and today they may have been rewarded. This rather in the, in the last session they may have been reward rewarded. So the stock appears to be consolidating within a longer term uh, downtrend. Okay. The average direction index is below 20 indicating that the shares have traded sideways recently okay the however 200 day moving average is still slooping bearishly lower it's also lagging the s p 500. momentum is strongly bullish at the moment the 14 period slow stochastic escalator is rising as investors pay high prices for shares on this daily model yes the, the momentum is strongly bullish yes um, the volume for this session was heavier than usual, trading 27.035 million shares per versus an average of 6.461 shares per day during the last 12 months. The unbalanced volume indicator is bullish, the stop up indicator is positive, and suggests that buyers are presently more active than sellers. So buyers are more active than sellers as things stand right now, and they are paying higher prices for shares. That's what's going on with uh, Romeo Power. So what do we have? Can we see whether we can determine a price target for um, Romeo Power? Can we, based on what has, what happened in the last session? Okay, let's use this the high of uh, 533 and the closing and this low of 522, 533. So that gives, that gives you 0 0.11, 0 0.11. That's the difference between 523 and 522 is 0.11 times Fibonacci extension level of 2.618. You can use any other extension level to multiply, but we're choosing 2.618. What will what we have? We have 0 0.28798, and that will will add it to the closing price or the current price right now of 5.30 plus 5.30. We have a price target of uh, $5.5879. That's our price target, at least for this for this week. For this week, that's our price target based on the daily chart. So that's our price target, 5.5879. Let's see whether we can determine any for the on the daily model. We can determine any price target. Let's use uh it might be narrow 5.04 and 4.28 minus 4.28 gives you 0 0.76 it times uh, 0 sorry 2.618 gives you 1.9868 plus 530 gives you a price target of 7.2 roughly 7.3 dollars is it possible that it could to get to 7.3 dollars at least in the next one month 7.3 dollars okay fingers crossed anything can happen okay see what you make of uh, our RMO stock and uh, thank you very much for watching this video